Schwartz, Linear Funk. And on Assumption, who is not a student of mine, but that's probably a very cool lick. Flam Tapadiddles from Ali Fournay. Cool. Hugo's Bembe Groove. But Hugo's got another one in here, doesn't he? Hugo's got a really cool one. Stolen Licks. Tom Miles. Here we go. Kyle Falzer. James O'Reilly. Man, there's a lot of cool licks in here. I don't know if you can see some of this, but this is like gold. <laughs> Here's my handwritten accent chart. Wow. Old school. What up, people in Corona land? So this week's lesson is going to talk about three drum licks that I stole from my students. That's what's coming up next, so let's get to it. Now before we get into this video, if you are into drums and you want to take it to the next level, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. Also hit that notification bell so you know exactly when new lessons are coming out. And if you really want to give your fingers a workout, hit the like button too. Now over the years I've taught a lot of students and on rare occasions sometimes a student will come to me and say, Jay, I got this really cool stick here, this really cool lick. Other times they just sit down at the kit and they just play something and I go, whoa, what the hell was that? Either way, if it's a cool lick, I go ahead and I write it down in my notebook. Now going through my book here, I just found a couple of licks that I wrote down from students that were really, really cool. So being that we're all stuck in isolation, bored looking for something to do, I thought I'd share some with you. Now disclaimer, I didn't get permission from any of these students to use or steal these licks. So that means if there's any pending lawsuits, I blame you because you're the one watching. So this first groove is going to come from Hugo Lopez up in New York. Now full disclaimer, Hugo was never really an official student of mine. We shared a rehearsal space back in New York. Overall, he's a fantastic player. And if I can, I'm going to try to find his social link and paste it right there. So one day Hugo came into my room, he showed me this lick. I thought it was so cool that I wrote it down in said book, Stolen. So here's an example of Hugo's lick on the drum set. So to break this lick down, I think of it in three separate parts. The first part would be your six stroke roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, left, left, right, right, left. The second part is just gonna be right, left, right from your floor tom across your high tom. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. Your third part is gonna be kick, kick, left. Kick, kick, left. First part, one, two, three, four, five, six. Second part, one, two, three. Third part, one, two, three. All together without stopping. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And up the tempo, it's gonna sound like this. Very, very hip. Now let's go ahead and take all these pads away and break it down on the drum set. Now this next drum lick does come from a student who I used to teach back in New York. That student's name is Tom Miles. I haven't spoken to Tom in years, but man, Tom, if you see this video, I'd love to hear from you. Tom was a fantastic student, and during one of his lessons, he came in with this little gem. Naturally, I thought it was so cool that I went ahead and wrote it down in my book. Sorry, Tom. 
The lick is mine now. I might get sued. Okay, so let's take this drum lick from Tom Miles and bring it over to the pad kit. Now the Tom Miles lick works better in 30 second notes. So it's an eight note pattern. And in 30 second notes, you're gonna play it just across one beat. Now the other thing that's really cool about this beat is the sticking is very easy. It's all alternating singles and then just two doubles with the kick. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. But what makes it cool is how it's voiced around the drums. Let's take a look at the voicing. So the first four notes, you're gonna run up the drums like this. One, two, three, four. Notice how the left hand stays on the high tom. Right, left, right, left. Floor, rack, snare, rack. The next part is very easy. Two floors, right, left, two kicks. Kick, kick. So the first four. One, two, three, four. The last four, right, left, kick, kick, all together. Floor, rack, snare, rack, floor, floor, kick, kick. Right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Now at the tempo, if you're to cook it, it sounds like this. Now let's go ahead and remove all the pads from the drums and break down Tom Miles' lick on the actual drum set. Now this last lick is absolutely one of my favorites. It's something I've stolen and I use all the time in my playing. In fact, it's such a cool lick that I've taught it to some of my other students and it has subsequently spread across the whole country. This lick comes from one of my current Inner Circle students, John Plows. And I had showed it to one of my other students the other day. Right. And he was, we were doing like a trading for his thing and uh -huh. he did a drum solo and he was like, he did it? And I was oh. like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I totally I, forgot about it until just now. I haven't even tried to, wow. John and I were working on a chafee pattern, which was a 5A and adding a bass drum to it. Uh, and it kind of moves your hands back and forth across the tom. And then he just started doing this lick where he was doing the back and forth and then moved around the toms. I was like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> the funny thing is that first he didn't even really know. He's like, oh, I don't know what I just did. But luckily we broke it down and it ended up being one of the coolest and smoothest licks I think I've ever played myself. So kudos to you, John, for coming up with this lick. But unfortunately, it's mine now. And unfortunately I've shared it with a bunch of students so they're kind of using it too. Okay, so here's John Plow's lick on the drum set at full tempo. Just like Hugo's lick, this is gonna be two beats of 60 note triplets. So one group of six, followed by another group of six. So the sticking's like this, very slowly. Right, left, left, right, right, foot. Floor, snare, 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 kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your first group. Now the second group's a little weird because you're gonna start up on the rack tom with your left hand. Then you're gonna do some left leading triplets down your toms. Now if you do have a second tom here, which I don't, you could go ahead and move your right hand across to that second tom. I'm gonna move straight to the floor tom because that's what I got. So the last six notes are gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six on the kick. Rack, floor, 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 kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very important, this has to lead lefty or the lick won't make sense. Now for those of you that do have a second rack tom here, you could do one, two,
two, three, four, five, six. So you move beats two and three over to your second tom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go back to the first part. Right, left, left, right, right, kick. Second part. Left, right, left, right, left, kick. Four, left, left, right, right, kick. Left, right, left, right, left, kick. Floor, left, left, right, right, kick. Left, right, left, right, left, kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Up to tempo, it's gonna feel like this. Ah, that's a great one. Now I'm gonna say that this lick really embodies the true nature of sticking. Because the goal of sticking is to really make it easier to play around the drum set. And this sticking does a beautiful job at that because it just flows so effortlessly around the kit if you execute it the right way. Okay, so let's take this lick, start at 50 on the metronome, nice and slow, break it down on the drums and then build it up. Man, those licks are a lot of fun. And I gotta tell you, some of my students, they come up with the wildest things that I never would have thought of in a million years. Now I am joking around a lot about how I'm stealing these licks, but something I always say to my students, good drummers borrow, great drummers steal. So if you hear a good lick from a drummer that you like, and it doesn't matter if it's the most famous guy in the world or a guy playing in a bar down the street, steal that lick like a thief. Make it your own, that's the way to get great. And another way to get great is to always Practice with purpose. Now, if you're lucky enough to be watching this video at the time that I released it, we are dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, which means a lot of us are stuck inside and we're twiddling our thumbs and we don't know what to do with ourselves. So in celebration of that and an effort to turn lemons into lemonade, I'm releasing a free drum lesson workshop that I'm calling The Drumming Path. The only catch is I'm not releasing it up here on YouTube. I'm only making it available to students on my email list, TDA University. Now it's free to join TDAU, all you need is a valid email address, but after the first week it's gonna be gone and this whole section of video will make no sense. But there is hope because if you join TDAU, you will still get to take my Drumming Foundation Challenge. It's a very in-depth program that really digs into your fundamentals and it actually kicks most drummers in the ass. So no matter what time it is in history, head over to thedrummersalmanac.com, sign up for TDAU and take the Drumming Foundation Challenge. I guarantee you will not regret it. And finally, 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 if you dug this video, you got something out of it, hit the like button. It only takes a second. It's right there. It's right there at the bottom. Just hit it. Hit the like. Definitely hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell as well. Thanks for checking out the video, y'all, and I'll see you soon.